Hi there, it's Angela with Angela's Crafty Space from beautiful sunny South Florida. And today we are going to do, um, we're going to continue collaging on uh, our stamp, um, like brochure, catalog, folio, whatever that we made out of the file folders. Uh, you can, I'll link that video below, um, but you can, um, see here it's, you can either do it with one long file folder, um, like a legal size file folder, or you can put two together, um, and then depending on how you put the two together, it depends on what you actually get for your trifle. Well, this is the one that we did putting two together. So we have two pockets on the side here. So you just get a little bit wider folio than with the bigger. Um, this is the size of the, um, the bigger one, the bigger file folder. But see, they both fit this pocket that I bought. So that's awesome. That was the main goal was that that pocket fit on there. So we're good. So I started collaging. I didn't like the way that video was going. So I stopped it and now I'm take two, <laughs> take two. So I just have one piece down. Um, I couldn't remember what I was saying. It was so aggravating. So I had to, yeah, I had to stop the video. I still don't remember what I was saying. So if I blurt something out, you'll know why. <laughs> It'll finally come to me, right? Ooh, if I'm going to do that, I think I want it this way. No, I don't like... I don't like you. It's too same same. Alright, let's find something else. Ooh, let's try some of this. I know, I know, I'm probably thinking about it too much, but, but, I know I'm definitely thinking about it too much, but it's going to have pockets, and it's going to have stamps in front of it, so, but I still want it to be pretty, but I am overthinking it, for sure. So, let's put this here, and I accidentally ripped that corner, so I want to put something behind it. I think I will put this behind it, but I'm going to turn it. So it looks like that. I kind of wanted those to go over. So what I was saying was I kind of wanted this piece here to go over like this. So it w I didn't have a single piece in the, cra in the crease here. So what I could do is just put another piece there, so that's fine. So I'm going to glue this there, this there. Do I want to switch it? <laughs> no, I like it that way. Let's go ahead and glue it down. Oh, this glue is mushy from the heat. Today was a scorcher. It must have been 120 degrees out today. It was so hot. Like the instant you walked outside, you like evaporated. That's how hot it was. <laughs> no joke. Like you start sweating instantly the minute you step outside. And I was coming from air conditioner outside and I started sweating immediately. Like it did not feel good at all. It was horrifically hot today. I feel bad for those workers that work out in the heat. I really do. Installing windows because man, it was hot today. It was really hot. <clears throat> did I mention it was hot today? Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> ah, Angela. Angela, Angela, Angela. What are we going to do with this? I'm going to put that piece down there. That's its home. So I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're enjoying these collage videos. I don't do them. 
think this might only just be my second one I've ever done and the last one was probably the first one I had ever done because I do not recall ever collaging on camera before I was always too scared too scared I don't know why though it's so weird I mean if I do get a troll and a and they say something smart, I'm going to say something smart right back. That's just the kind of person I am, and I have done it before. I have told somebody, and if they're watching, you'll know why. I thought your comment was out of, was out of line. And I kindly let her know that she could keep her negative thoughts to her channel. That they were not welcome on my channel. And then I lost a subscriber or two after I did that. So, you know what? To each their own. It's not a big deal to me. I would rather not have the subscribers than have the negativity. I mean, I can take criticism like anybody else. But just to be downright nasty is not going to fly with me. So... Yeah. I think it was on my ruffle video. She had called it a pleat. A pleat is something totally different. A pleat is like in a skirt or in your pants. It's not... Well, that is a ruffle, what I mean. Not a pleat. I mean, I can understand the confusion. But get your facts straight before you start commenting on people's videos. And telling them they're wrong. Here go the firecrackers. It's not even dark out yet. I mean, it has been non-stop since Saturday before 4th of July. <laughs> it was like, as soon as they started selling them, everybody went um, firework crazy. Like, I've never seen before. Seriously. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely insane. I'm going to put that right there. So we're just going to collage this page. And then I'm going to show you the pockets. And how to put those on. And then I'm going to call this a video. So you guys can go and make them. Can't be jabbering all day. Yeah, it's just a real calm craft with me collage video. Nothing special, just me in my craft room. Talking to my buddies, my pals. I've noticed a lot of my Facebook group members are watching my videos too, so I wanted to thank you guys so much. All my subscribers and everybody that watches, I really thank you so much. Trying to retire here soon and trying and praying and I'm hoping that YouTube is my gig. So we'll see. We shall see. If it happens, it happens. I got plenty of years to go, if not. <laughs> plenty of years to go, right? I was overthinking it again. So, I said, self, <laughs> what are you doing? So, I'm just going to lay this down. Right over here. Where I put it the first time. I didn't put it down. What did I do with that? There it is. Alright, let's see what else we got here. These are all really light and I have... Well, not that. Could that go there? Ooh, that could go there. Couldn't it? That's going to work nice. 
If I could get this piece of paper off of my book, that would be great. I think I glued it on there. There we go. It came off. You're so dramatic, Angel. Okay. I left a little gap there. Let me try to move it over. There we go. Got it. Oh, that's a good thing about glue stick is you get some wiggle in it. It's awesome. All right. This butterfly over here. Sure. Why not? something to go across the top but I was see the screen here so let's go ahead and get that or should we do the pink Ooh, let's do the pink too it's like washy I'm just going to get all these ready real quick. This way we're all ready to go. I'm going to try to tear a couple of these at once. See how it goes. Ooh, that worked. Worked well. There we go. All right, we are set. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, it, oh, can I get it to fit? Does it fit? Oh, it just fits. No way. Oh, that's so awesome. All right, so it just fits. So we got to be careful where we tear it. So let me put this up against it, and let's tear it the way we did the last one. It's not going to work, because I have... Why won't that work? Because it has a bump there where the... I marked it, though, so we'll tear it where it marked the ruler here. Yeah, perfect. Oh, no. Okay. Too sticky. I'm just throwing them over there. I'm not throwing them in the garbage or anything. I like to let them dry flat. And then I can decide what I want to make with them instead of folding them and then being stuck making journal cards or whatever. That was torn so crooked. But I like it. Okay. Next, we're going to take this pink and go down the side. This way I could cover up that little bit of white that's on there. Get it in position and press it down. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, let's put some of this down here. I think this one with the flowers. Yeah. Gonna put this there. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, so now I want to use just this plain green, and I think I'm gonna put it there. Then I'll find a couple little pieces 
to put there and there. Here, the blue matches the butterfly. And this rose there. Oh, I almost cut it too short. Let's trim it this way. There we go. Trimmed it the wrong way a little bit. It almost had a oopsie. There we go. All right. I really love the way that came out. Okay, awesome. All right, so now the pockets. Now, I didn't measure this, but I think I did a pretty good job. So what I did was I, I just put them down, to be honest. I mean, the first one can be kind of towards the bottom, right? I mean, if you want them to be precise, go ahead and measure. But to me, it doesn't matter. Just pick the distance and just set it down. Now, these particular pockets are removable as well. And they do get like this white on them. But when you put it back down, it disappears. So I'm not sure what that white is, but it goes away. So there's crystal clear pockets. All right, let's put the next one down. I'm going to kind of leave the same amount of space for each one. Make sure I'm putting them on the right way <laughs> before I get too far. One's on one way and one's on the other way on the sticker sheet. So you got to be careful you don't put it on the wrong way. I think I can get one more. On that page, one, two, three, four. I think we can do five on there. Let's do five on there. Why not? There we go. One, two, three, four, five pockets. Wow, that one I put way over. Oh, shoot, that ripped. Yeah, that's ripping the paper. Okay, note to self. <laughs> that one was stuck down. I'm going to have to put a little bit of glue under there where I ripped the paper. All right, so when you're collaging with paper, they're not... Um, with regular copy paper. I guess the other paper I used was photo paper or something. So anyway, that one's going to be off center, but I don't care. It's fine. It'll work. All right. So let's put some stamps in it so you can see what the different pockets are. Yeah. These ones still need to be organized. See, I still have so much more organizing to do. So... Let's see what we got here. I've got some orange. So fun. I love postage stamps. I really love that I found these little clear pockets. These are a lifesaver when making these little books. And you could also use these to um, put your ephemera in as well. You don't have to just use it for stamps. Like fussy cut ephemera and die cut ephemera. You know, things like that. You could put in these pockets. It would hold it for sure. Alright, so I'm just going to put like one in each one so you can kind of see where the pockets are here. There we go. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. 
so there we go all decorated with stamps in the pockets and I mean they're pretty secure in there the only reason why they fell out of the other one is that I kind of slung it so they went they had like force behind them but they they stay in there fairly good for sure these pockets are they're well made to me I have no issue with the stickiness of them or anything so there you go and the book will kind of stay closed on its own once the glue dries, you know. So there's no need for a tie or anything unless you want one. So there we go. I just wanted to take my Sharpie. This one doesn't have a very nice tip. I wanted to write stamp something. Here we go. This one. There we go. Love it. Stamps. Okay. And then, um, I'm not sure what we want to write there, but we could just leave it like that. We could put a butterfly. We could put a flower in the center. I wonder what that would look like in the center. off on a tangent now I'm gonna let you guys go so there we go there you have it all decorated well not all decorated but you get the drift to what we're gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and finish collaging and then on my next video I'll show you guys how it came out we'll see you soon bye bye